are a small team of researchers from Tulane University in the USA who have worked in Papua New Guinea tropical grasslands since 2011. Grasslands are found throughout the lowlands and mountain valleys of Papua New Guinea. A variety of birds and other wildlife live here, and many of them live only in New Guinea tropical grasslands. Our research focuses on the grasslands found on the north slope of Milne Bay Province in southeastern Papua New Guinea. Here, we work with the communities that live amongst the grasslands to conduct our research and raise awareness on conservation. Our study has a focus on a grassland bird called the white-shouldered fairy wren. This species of bird is found only in New Guinea and nowhere else in the world. They spend their whole lives in the grasslands where they feed on insects, build their nests, and defend a territory all year round. We are up early every morning to catch these birds and when they're singing at dawn. To capture the birds, we set up a large net, called a mist net, in the grass, and then we push the birds into it. The birds are unable to see the net because the mesh is so fine. After we catch the bird in the net, we carefully remove it and then begin collecting data. The first thing we do is place bands on the bird's legs. We place one metal band with a unique identification number and three color bands that are made out of plastic. With these colors on their legs, we are able to follow the birds in the bush and know the individual by what colors are on their legs. After banding, we take measurements of many different parts of the birds. We record its weight and then take a small blood and feather sample. The blood sample is harmless to the bird and allows us to study the genetics and relationships amongst family groups we capture. Once we are done
done with all of our measurements, we release the bird so we can continue to study it throughout the bird's life. We are lucky to work with local residents who have trained in the research methods and carry out much of the research throughout the year. Both Gabriel and Serena are passionate and motivated to carry out the research and spread awareness about research and conservation throughout the province. just a little bit more bright. It has more color. And the female is kind of a little bit more brown. Mm, See that? Mm. And these two, they will stay together for their entire lifetime and they'll have babies and things. So it's like husband and wife. Okay. Um, so they'll, and so they're gonna stay here their whole life and have babies and always be together. Uh, yeah. And you can see they're called the white-shouldered fairy wren because they have white here on their shoulder. So that's why we call it that fairy. aspect of a project are the school presentations, training workshops for local residents, and awareness presentations, which allow us to share the information we gain from our research and raise awareness on local conservation issues. And so you can see that they're just small and very brightly colored. And if you're ever out there, in your garden and you see these birds, then if you look really closely at their legs, you might see some of these colors. So right here around Garawaki, we have caught 167 birds. And all 167 birds, they all have colors on their legs. And each one is a different combination. So if you see the bird with the colors, you know its name. And if you know the bird's name, then you can follow it and you can, uh, you know, you can learn about its life and see where it moves to and see who it has babies with. And that's why this is such an important tool for us here.